Hello and good evening and welcome to the evening store Fortnite store review. Happens after the roll around at 7 o'clock. I just got off Undertale. If this is your first time joining us, what I do is I review all the entire store, especially the new items. I won't go through the items that I've already reviewed the days before. We rate them and then we rate the entire store. Now, we've already had ratings for these guys and so on so let me just go through this real quick these guys here have an eight rating technically they got a six rating but two three packages technically got them a plus two rating so bring it up to eight despite some extremely gaudy specials over here a non-impressive tool uh meh emote and whatever the heck that is the, what really sold this was the amazing skins the skins are amazing these have a 7. Again, these tools brought it down, but good looking characters, 2 outfits each, good looking plane, and then a plus 1 for 2 packages, even though one of the packages has 2 things I don't like in it. Uh, so they got about a 7. This, last time we were about, got a 9. Because A, this got a 10, B, this got a 9, C, this got a 6, so not terrible, and B, this was the least, uh, this is the least rated on here at a 5, which is mid middle range score, just because it's a re-textured glider. And then, of course, it got a plus 1, which led it to 8, but it got a plus 1 to, uh, uh, for its amazing, st uh, package over here, where you get all of it together. I haven't used enough Eddie Brock lately, by the way. So that is what we have right now, already scored on here from the end of the night. Now, unfortunately, the entire list will get a negative one because for the first time in the last two nights, it has nothing new, nothing brand new. You'll see absolutely nothing down here that says new because it has absolutely nothing new. It will lose points. Sorry, that's just how I roll. Uh, so first off, we have these. These are reskinned OGs. So I have to say his face does not look familiar. So maybe not all G's. He's been used before. His skin is OG. He's been used before. I've seen him before. He is not a familiar face to me. So it's Sergeant Sweeper. So maybe he's just someone I'm not familiar with. Same with this. Both these characters I've seen before. Again, not entirely familiar with her, but maybe she has a different hair on when she's on. So this is a football slash soccer uh, teams, clubs, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, whatever team you like to do, SFG, Santos, Manchester, Milan, it has different suits for each team that I'm, I guess probably looks like their actual suits in real life. So that's actually pretty neat that they did that for your people who love football. If you're a football fan, it's good. Hey, you have what, uh... One, two, three. About 20 uh, availabilities plus 20 plus 20 times 5 is 100. <laughs> 100 different matches between the women and the men. Um, I have 200 if you want to put it all together, so not terrible. Uh, all together, I, they're all just basically reskin, reclothed OGs. The thing that's holding them up is the different types of clothes you can have on them that matches the actual club slash teams. Um, I'm going to rate it a good six. There's nothing flashy. There's nothing special. It doesn't come with any extras. There's no backlink. There's no tools. Nothing cool. But it looks okay. So it's going to get a six. You know, high mid range. Not bad. Um, it is all going to be rated together. This whole area is going to get a 6 since they're all just basically the same skin. They would average out the 6 anyway. I'm not going to base difference on their facial looks or hairstyles. Uh, next on Rep Your Club, Rep Your Club Part 2, we have uh, these things. Pelé's Hair Punch. That's about a one and a half second emote. Um, it's just someone reach doing a jump. Air pump, and I'm sorry if you jump that much, maybe you should be in basketball and not football. But uh, and there's like 
confetti or something coming down on him. Not too bad. There's a cheer. I'm going to give it a good old five. It's not terrible or anything. It's a little short. But it, it, it earns that five. It's probably good for fans of soccer. And I'm sure Pele is somebody important. I don't know. <laughs> Fancy footwork. No music. Wait, wait, uh, hold on. About a five, 5.5 second loop, so that's actually pretty long for a loop. Yeah, especially one without music. Uh, you can see him just kicking around the ball, having fun. I used to play soccer when I was young, and what he's doing right there is not too difficult. Uh, the worst part would be uh, with my long ass legs, I trip up on the ball and fall on my face. Um, a decent little soundless app. It's got the noise of your feet hitting the ball, which sounds pretty much how you. Uh, would expect it to be. I'm going to give this one also. Uh, I'm going to give it a six, just as a running ball and it's traversal. So you can move with it. And so it deserves a six. It's again nothing flashy, but because it's traversal, it's that extra one. Pickups. Now, this is something I could never do, even when I played football slash soccer as a little kid. I think I knew some people who could do this, but the closest I had to this ball coming that close to my face is when I'm playing goalie. And I would actually block the goal with my face. Happened quite a lot. I think I got brain damage from that tree. Um, all in all, it's got some nice music. Well, hold on, let me check something real quick. Twenty-two seconds of song. Damn, I I think it was like eight seconds of actual movement loop, but that's a twenty-two seconds of song loop, which is damn impressive. I'm gonna give this one also a six because its music is not terrible. It's got some fun flashes in it. It's not traversal, so it doesn't get that extra finesse. But I mean, you wouldn't be traversing while you're doing this anyway. It's got a ball that does some fun things around your chest and hair. I would almost give this a 7, but I'm going to give it about a 6. The 22 second song is impressive. You don't usually get those too often outside of some uh, third party music. Red card emote. You did something wrong, you got a red card, get the frick off the field. Um, it's very basic. About a 2.5 second emote, got a whistle sound, got a red card that he puts back in his pocket, though half the time the rest will throw it at them, I think. Um, yeah, it's not too impressive. It's getting a three. It's got props, you know, I'm gonna give it four. Four for the props is using in the sound. Air horn. You use this if you want to say, hey, I love soccer. Hey, I hate your eardrums, or break up dog fights. I, uh, honestly enough, I worked in a pet hotel. That was last resort of dog fight breaker up because it hurt the dog's ears. And you use that after you use the spray, the citronella spray, which supposed to hurt their nose. All in all, it's got one, two, three different horns. It lasts for about about two point five seconds as well, like the other guy. It's got three different horns, which is fun. It's annoying, <laughs> which is fun. It's going to get about a four as well. So with this together... The whole section gets about a five rating so basic mid-range section i'm not surprised that's what i would have probably rated the whole thing all together anyway just off the top of my head uh nothing too amazing here but some fun ones here on the left side now we've got featured feature is going to have two sections on it today that are unrelated but that's fine first section 
is Will Smith. Now, this is Will Smith, Loose Cannon from, I almost said the Backstreet Boys, holy cow. <laughs> Will Smith's back, all right, from the Bad Boys. Bad Boys 1, Bad Boys 2, I think there's a Bad Boys 3, but I never saw it. There may be a new Bad Boys I don't know about. Who knows? Uh, it was a vulgar, fun Will Smith flick with a comedian actor I know the name of, I can't think of right now. He's got his basic kind of greenish gray uh, sweater shirt on, uh, kind of dark gray, black blue jeans. He's got a backpack full of submachine guns by the looks of it. They're both the same things. Fortnite submachine guns for that matter. And some actual plastically looking cubs. These cubs look like the toy cubs you have at kids' houses. I, I'm surprised a little little knob there to get it out in emergency situations isn't there. And then some dress shoes. Nothing too special. Um, it gets a plus for being a famous character. I would give this a four right off the bat if it wasn't Will Smith. But it looks like Will Smith's got a nice little tee. I like the earring over there. A nice little watch on the left hand that is not moving, right? Not moving. Not telling the right time, right? Pretty sure that's not telling the right time. You know, that's very close to telling the right time if that's the 12 on the left side. And that freaks me out. Stop doing that. The second vlog I see you do that. But I'm going to give him a big old six. A little above average only because he's Will Smith. It would be a four, but Will Smith gets a little more. Because Will Smith is such a cool actor. I would probably have rated it better if it came with anything in this package other than the backlink. It comes with backlink, so yeah, it got about a five, but then it got upgraded to the six of the old Smith. I also would have been rated better. Oh, he has guns in his left arm and behind his back. I also would have rated it better if it had been a different Will Smith character. Men in Black Will Smith character should have come out last season. This season, season two, seven, Alien season, Will Smith, Men in the Black. He's been in all but one of the movies. He's the lead character in all but one of the movies. Now, he does have secondary tools that come by themselves. Considering he's 1500, he probably could have come with him and it wouldn't have killed anybody. It's got a unique cutting action. I don't know if anybody else rolled in tools like that. Um, one's a, a knife, a hunting knife, combat knife, maybe even a bowie knife, but it looks a little different. One is a hooked knife that looks like something it looks like a cross between the climbing spear that we've seen others use and a logging spear you'd use to pull logs in honestly don't know what the knife is from don't know if it's in the movies it'd be a cruel thing to use as a weapon you're gonna hook it into someone and it ain't coming out easy um as a blade expert not a blade expert but blade collector i've never seen that before the knife on the right looks basic combat knife a little big um, I would give, all in all, if they're just knives, daggers, they're two-handed, which is a plus, and they've got a unique, look Look at that, sparks, for some reason the sparks look unique too, it's got a unique kind of emote going with it, movement, sparks, sound, the sounds make it sound like you're slicing something up that's fleshy. I would normally give something like this a four, but it's two-handed, so we'll move it up to a five. I'm going to give it a 5. I was thinking of moving it up to a 6, but no, nah, it's going to get a 5. If it was put together, this guy might get a 7 himself. Then we get Bull Shark. Bull Shark is from Season 1 and Chapter 2 when they were predicting we'd want underwater stuff before we knew there was going to be an underwater season. Because Fortnite's special like that. He is a diver, I guess, with some uh, oxygen mask that looks like it has O2 canisters in the side of his mouth. Looks like something all freaking... Uh, Star Wars, when they use similar devices to swim underwater, the Jedi, to get to the Gungan City. And that would be episode one. Uh, he's got a mask on that looks kind of creepy. It's supposed to be shark like. It shows teeth painted onto it. It's got eye holes. This is a guy I wouldn't want to meet because he looks like he's going to take you to some kind of lab and turn you into a monster. He's got a, the hoodie mask and the vest in the middle have kind of a blue metallic clean which is not too bad he's got some kind of design on his arm and his stomach which made no sense to me and he's got sleeves uh that will show he has an undershirt along with the gloves that have what appear to be blue textured insides 
possibly for gripping things when you're underwater. He's scuba diving. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six pouches around him for carrying whatever. A grenade. A pouch on his left hip. Regular pants of some kind, but they ha seem to have sewed in knee protectors, as well as protectors on the back left hip. Uh, sorry, back left hip. Back left calf. I don't know why you'd have a protector back there unless you're, like, bumping into things all the time. Maybe it's a diving thing. Of course, you aren't usually diving with boots like those. The pants seem to be strapped around the boots to keep them on. I also don't think you'd dive in pants like those. Those look like regular slacks. You sink. Never come back out. He's got a back bling, which looks like a bull shark, actually. Uh, it appears to be some kind of uh, propulsion, because it has... What appears to be some kind of fan system in front or jets in the front and jets in the back. Possibly a propulsion system for when he's underwater. Could be some kind of underwater combat. Mess with the bull, you get the shark. It can never stop swimming, never. Just keep swimming. Oh, because sharks are supposed to keep swimming or they die. I've heard that's right. I don't know if that's true, by the way. I'm not a shark expert. Got a weird dagger in his backpack. I'm not sure what that would be used for. Other than painful cutting. Keep you driven. Um, he doesn't come with anything else, oh, uh, other than a backling. It's okay looking, it looks kinda nice, uh, but it's nothing fancy. It's a little unique in this look, you don't ever see skins like this. It's gonna get a 5, I would've given it lower, but it's uniqueness saved it. It's gonna get a mid-range. If it had been bundled with his stuff, at about a 1500 range, or even maybe 2000 range, I'd say 1500 for a skin like this. Maybe it would get more. We have a tool called the Enderbite, which is shark looking. Nothing unique about its swing. Nothing really too unique about its look. If you're a shark fanatic, this would definitely be a pickaxe for you. But it's really nothing big. I'm giving it a. It's kind of disappointing. It's almost like half the other things. I'm giving it. A, I want to give it a 2.5, but I don't do points, so I'm going to give it a 3. Probably deserves a 2. I don't know. I'm going to leave it at a 3 for now. Maybe I'll decide something later. Then they have Sharky Shallows. I thought it said Sharky Swallows. Is it what? Uh, it's basically the face of a shark on a gun and is animated. Now, you can't see the face of the shark on most of the guns. You can see it on some of the guns, but most of them it's uh, hidden. You can see it on the boat a little better, but even then it's not great. So it kind of kills the shark look. But it has a cool ripply effect, and you can see the ripply effect has like a different effect mid-section that goes on all guns and actually each gun makes it look a little different because they're shaped unique. It's not too bad. I like it. That was cool. That was cool. That was cool. Everything looks cool. It's animated. It's a pretty color. It's unique. I'm not sure sure about the shark face, but the animation and uniqueness gives it a nice 06. So that is the end for that. And this is going to be a pretty middle range, low middle range section here, I can already tell. Yep, it's getting a 5, just like the one before it. The entire list is going to be 5, so the ones I've already done, if we're not careful. So despite having a character who's a 6 right here, and a wrap that's a 6, everything here was so mid range, it kept the, uh... It tipped the average of the entire thing mid-range, about a 5. I, I would buy this if it had more to it, or if it was a different Will Smith character. But I'm not that big of a bad boy fan, or that much of a Will Smith fan. No offense, Will Smith, you're awesome. Just to buy that for the heck of it. Now this is our daily. Why is it not saying daily? No, that's not daily. What is this? Featured? I'm assuming this is featured then. I guess feature had a second part. Uh, so this is featured part two. This is going to be another fake loaded freaking store. This one I have. This is Potassius Pills. Let's just say anything with Philly gets like a tin rating right off the bat, but not really. But also, Philly's awesome. I love Philly skins. Go to my Twitter, by the way, and you'll see that I took a survey for Fortnite. If you haven't taken it, it showed skins that they were letting you survey on what you thought were the best and not the best. And all together... A lot of the skins were amazing. There were some Toon Tillies, I hope, come to fruition. Really fun. Anyway, this is Cape of Pot this is Potassius Fills and the Cape of Potassius. Et tu Brutus, which is a reference to Et tu Brutus when uh, 
Caesar, the Roman Emperor, got stabbed. Friends, produce, let me your fields. This is friends, neighbors, let me your ears. Um, Potassius is peely. He looks unhappy. It's one of the few times he looks unhappy, but it's because he's an emperor here back in the Roman days. He's wearing basic Roman attire, actually. You see this a lot. Uh, kind of steelish, though not very shiny. Looking armor, buckled with buckles on the side. It's got a lion head. I don't know if the lion head is typical, but they usually emblem the front of it somehow. That's a really thick emblem. But I guess if you're emperor, you're not going to go straight into battle, because that's what looks. Got Roman uh, frocks, or whatever you want to call them, around the arms and around the waist. It's got a Roman belt that matches with it. It's got what appears to maybe be bananas around the belt. They look like bananas. Uh, and then he's got sandals. Other than that, he's pilly. He's also got this nice looking cape. This cape looks like it could hang up as curtains in a really fancy over his health. And of course, he's got the Roman crown, which was this Caesar looking, Caesar looking crown that some of them wore. All in all, is a decent skin. Pili gives pluses. I'm going to say Pili never gets lower than a six just because it's a Pili skin and they're awesome. It's really well made. There's lots of little details put into the skin itself. And Pili's expression shows the Roman expression, so it'll change if you use an emote, of course. I bought it. It would do better if it was packaged um, with something other than a backlink. At 1200, I guess it's not okay, but they could have upped it to 1500 and packaged it with this guy, which was 500 instead of making you pay for both for 1600. So, all in all, I'm gonna give him a big old six. I would have given him a seven, but there's not enough there to give a seven. Sorry, Billy. Now, this is Gladius Potassius. Um, it's a unique sword. I think it has a unique sound, too. It's a unique sword. You don't see sword tools like this much anywhere that look exactly like this. It's got a typical length blade. Um, not quite short long sword, I think. Somewhere between a dagger and a short long sword. Like, um, good for stabbing your friends in the back with Heifutus. Uh, it's got notches on the right and left and wear and tear on the top part showing it's been swung quite a few times and hit something hard, either metal or bone. It's got a rounded hilt, which I think is actually pretty typical of that era style hilt, or I should say handguard, uh, guard, a round guard. It's very funky looking to people who are familiar with swords more like from pirates or knights, but you know what, that kind of guard though it looks unwieldy you would probably protect a lot better than some other guards do its hilt is fancy emblemed in gold uh redwood or belt or something i don't know and then it's ended in the emperor's symbol all in all it's a decent looking weapon there's nothing too special about it but it probably deserves this it deserves a six as well just because it's unique uniqueness and details Crystal is our next person. Crystal is a reskin, I believe, of an OG character. Her face is very familiar. Uh, she's got these pigtails, kind of blue-grayish hair, a matching bluish shirt with some washed-out pink on the bottom. Looks like she's maybe been sun-bleached or washed too often. It also looks like it's been torn and rolled up at the bottom. It shows belly, which is always a good look. Um, she's got some kind of crystal around her neck. Clarity with some vision. She may be a psychic or something. She's got some kind of... Her armor above her shirt looks like adventure or thief versions. Now, it's not really armor because it's not protecting her chest, obviously, or her stomach. It's just around the collarbone area. So it may just be for looks, but it looks like another armor. It looks pretty cool. I'll give them that. She's got a right OG armband. She doesn't have a wrist thing. She's got some bandages on her left arm. She's got a bunch of pouches, thick and little, and the two belts, the one belt for the pouches that are kind of hanging loosely on her hip, which is good looking. She's got basic camos, uh, sort of the basic uh, OG armor on her left foot, but it's dark, so it's hard to see against the boot, which makes it kind of unique. The color scheme here is really good. All in all, though, it is an OG skin. If it was less stylish, I'd be giving this thing a 3. But because it's so stylish, it gets a mid-range 5. It's nothing special, but it's not bad. You're going to have to really impress me to get up to the 10s and stuff, guys. <laughs> this is Bronto. 
he came out in Season X and was an add-on to the already existing dinosaurs that had come out, I think, before then, including Jonesy and the Commanders. Um, this is Pronto eating plants and taking names. One for the ages, Pronto Bag. Uh, like the other ones, he has a bag that looks like it belongs to his head. So it looks like a dinosaur hanging in the back of a man or something. Uh, he's purple, which is always good. I like purple. He's got sort of a Flintstone look to him, the way his head looks. That are a really vicious Barney. Um, he's got an OG wristwatch and OG leg, so you can tell he's an OG person. Um, and a white belly. It looks like there's some wear and tear around it, like he's been in the loop for a while in this suit. It's not terrible, and the back link's cute. Yeah, it doesn't come with a lot, but it is only 1200 which is typical, I guess, for a normal thing. Uh, that isn't just OG. Um, all in all, not too bad. Not too interesting. It's gonna be getting probably about a 5, just like the one before it. Reskin OGs aren't going to, like, really hit high up there unless they do something special. Again, because he doesn't have anything else with him, that also hurt. Uh... She doesn't have one, but he's Dino Guard. Part of the Dino Guard set is this flyer. It is a mechanical pterodactyl. It even has noise when it opens. Which sounds pretty cool. Weird. Slightly creepy. So it's a mechanical animatronic pterodactyl. Uh, it flies, it flaps its wings, it will make noises every once in a while. Make a noise again, you just did. Or not. Uh, it's got some eyes that don't move, but they look buggy and cool. It moves its head around, it's got a dinosaur tail which uh, wiggles back and forth. There it goes. And then it's got feet, mechanical feet that you hang from those like exoskeleton, endoskeleton feet. All in all, decent glider. It's got enough going for it, enough color and detail, enough movement, and enough sound to make it a pretty good glider. I wouldn't say most gliders are worth 12,000 bucks, 1,200 12, V-Bucks. This one is. This one's not like the most impressive, but it's not bad. It's getting a 7 and it may save this entire section here from being too low. Bite Mark uh, is interesting. It is a play off those little dinosaur bitey things you get from theme parks or uh, tourist traps sometimes. I think I used to have something one like this, but uh, God knows where that went. It probably got broken. They're plastic anyway. Probably break easy. Um, other than that, that's all it is. It's nostalgic. It's kind of cute. It wiggles from movement. Don't know if it has its own, that doesn't sound like a unique hit. Uh, it's decent. It's unique. It's something you don't see in Fortnite too much. But it's nothing too special. It's going to probably get a 5. Grimoire. Actually, a really good one. Now, I won't be able to go in here and select its two versions because I already have this one. But the two versions are basically jacket and no jacket, as you can see. Uh, in either form, she uh, the jacket on the top is a red and black jacket with a skull on it. She has gray hair, and then she has some kind of almost like bleeding black makeup on, or maybe she's actually bleeding the black oil out of her eyes, and her eyes are dead black too, if you can see. So that's most likely the way it shines is something coming out of her eyes. She has what appears to be black stitching up the side of her face, almost in Joker style, but more creepy thing. I believe that she's supposed to be a Grim Reaper-like character. Um, can I do this so it stops doing that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is underneath her jacket in the other form, too. She's got a tally mark on a metal band down her front, which is probably the souls she's reaped, as well as a no symbol at her neck. Her neck appears to be... Oh, that's the hoodie back. Her neck appears to have some kind of clamps around the hoodie. Uh, she's dressed in a black almost tight get up but it's more than one piece the top piece is this above the belly cut tube looking thing with uh arms that go into some leather guards the leather guards are held on by some metal looking bands into her wrist and then she's got some wraps for hands and she's got some nice long black nails very cool looking got something at the bottom of a shirt, by the way. It looks like if you pull it, she'll explode into a parachute. 
Um, her belly is a sweater wrapped over by some belts. Very Final Fantasy looking, actually. She's got more belts down there. If she had a few more belts, we'd think she's from Final Fantasy X. She's got, a, she got another belt on the bottom. She's pushing it. That says soul, just in case you weren't sure she's a Grimmeeper. She does have this uh, mask on the side. I prefer her face. Would be interesting to have that mask as a third option uh, for a uh, style. But it's a gas mask with a white streak across it. Nothing too interesting, but pretty cool looking down there. She's got this kind of Scottish half kilt thing on the side over here, just for no reason. Got kind of a metallic gray black stripe going on it. Got some pants that end up like almost tattered bell bottoms. And they even have zippers on them where you can take off the bottoms. And then the tell, tattered tell, bell bottoms are just for looks. And then she's got some really random ass red and black sneakers that look like they're from the future. And she's from chapter season 2-4. I don't remember if that was Halloween. I don't remember what she's supposed to represent. But she could be a cyberpunk character because she looks cyberpunkish. Especially her jacket. Looks very cyberpunkish. And then she has this back bling which shows the skull like the Grim Reaper would have but in uh, some kind of neon hologram. So maybe she's the Grim Reaper of Cyberpunk. And hopefully not the game, because then she'll glitch out. And back here, she also has some kind of skull-looking grenade. Who knows what that does? Reap Souls. All in all, it's a very stylish, and it's a really good skin. It looks good. There's a lot of detail, even gross detail up here. Yes. Okay, I didn't realize how gross her eye looked. <laughs> uh, really good detail. I do like the shoes, if you think in the Cyberpunk style, look like futuristic shoes we'll never actually wear. Um, yeah, there's nothing too flashy about it, but it's flashy enough to work. I'm going to give that one a big old 7. Because uh, while there is a really good skin, there's just the skin in the back lane and there's nothing too much to it. I'd give it an 8. It was put with his Forsaken Strike. Now, Forsaken Strike was one of the first ones to be a tool that would switch hands as you swing it. You swing, swing. Switch hand, swing, switch hand, swing. It's, there's a few that do that now, but it was the first one. It's a holographic projection scythe. Uh, it says the latest in Reaper style, so yeah, she's definitely a Reaper of some kind. It's got a metallic black handle, Reaper's uh, skull on it. It's been wrapped in uh, some kind of cloth, some kind of thick cloth, actually. almost looks like some kind of bandage wrapping. And it ends in what appears to be some kind of keychain where she can maybe plug it in, though it appears to be a little sparking down there as well. And all in all, it's a cool looking cyber tech thing. And with the extra, uh, it's got a unique sound, it's got a unique spark when you hit. It was the first one to do the switching hands, not bad. Uh, not quite seven worthy, maybe. Well, yeah, you know what, with the with the animated, yeah, that this probably is a seven. It's got a nice animation to it looks fluid, doesn't look bad from the top or the bottom or anything. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7. So we got some decent ones here and some okay ones here. All in all, this section... It had 8 pieces to it, holy cow. Sorry, I'm counting out. I do most of this in my head, counting up and dividing. Averages. Wow, uh, so despite the trios of seven in here, the amount of normals weren't enough to save it. It's got a six rating, so high mid rating. I would definitely recommend buying these two things. They're my favorite things over here, and these two things. Uh, these three things can be easily forgotten. She's kind of cute, I guess. So, we've got two more to go. This is going to be a long version of this. Um, so, this is Wildcard. Wildcard is a gang that came out in Season 5 called the Getaway Gang. Their boss was on the... Um, Frick. Was in the Battle Pass, 
So you got her if you're on the battle pass, you can't get her anymore. However, the getaway game was viable, so you can get them anytime they show up. There's also different versions of getaway games that were, uh, some of them are viable. They'll show up in the store once in a while. I don't know if all of them are viable. Um, we have a few of them. Uh, the getaway gang has technically five style, four styles, but all it does is change the uh, card piece, so it's almost the same exact style each time, but basically no other difference in there. Um, it's a decent looking outfit. It's got almost like a Jason esque hockey mask, which was big back in season five. They had like the getaway and a few other games and movies that were big on putting masks on robbers is got a strap that also looks Jason-esque for the mask and a pad on the back of the head. Just in case the mask is moved off, it looks like he has something like a cloth tee mask on underneath too. The black shiny eyes are kind of cool. The white suit's actually very fancy. I would uh, I'd love to see a movie and dress like that, but uh, probably is a robbery movie dressed like that somewhere. Gold cufflinks, white suit, white buttons, trio pockets. White pants, black shoes, sleek, chic, very nice looking, but all in all, not really too uh, special, I guess. And the uh, extra styles are so similar, it's not even going to count as extra style. All in all, a five. Uniqueness of this character itself has, it keeps it a five, albeit with the extra other styles you can buy, um, it's getting less and less unique. Uh, it comes with a briefcase. The briefcase looks a little beat up. It's got handcuffs on it with actual key hole in it. Again, the handcuffs look less metal and more plastic, but whatever. Uh, it's a decent skin. It, it totally gets a decent rating of 5. This is Whiteout. She's part of, well, she's not part of the RPM. She's part of Vanishing Point, which is technically like RPM, I think. <laughs> she comes with both head, a uh, helmet, and no helmet. I almost said head and no head. And both her ponytail shows up. She's got a white helmet with some bluish purple tinting on it, which looks nice. Uh, when the helmet's on, she's got a black mask underneath it. Uh, when it's off, it's an OG skin. She kind of looks like the driver off Top Gear. Does that not look like the driver off Top Gear? She's got a white suit on, racing suit basic, some cushioning on the front and cushioning on the side. Armor pads on the left and right arm. Uh, gloves for handling the steering wheel without messing up your hands. Uh, some tights almost for pants that are, look like they have leather-like designs in them. Some pads at the knees and around the side of the knees for whatever reason. And some white boots. It's a very meh kind of costume, but it looks cool if you're into racing. It's probably really cool. Um, she's got a ninja. she got a freaking katana with her and a backpack. So I am honestly don't know if this is supposed to be a Snake Eyes reference, which is funny because this is season five and in the next chapter we'd actually get Snake Eyes. She may be a Snake Eyes reference or any other bike helmet katana wielding person I can't name. But all in all, it's an okay suit. It's nothing too special. It's a little unique. It's probably gonna get a four out of me. You have to be really terrible to get below four. Oh, rushing around's back. Okay, rushing around, I gave a five yesterday. Wasn't too unique. Uh, Shadow Spar's new. Don't think this was here yesterday. Goes with the ninja, I think, or any fighter. Technically, any fighter you use could go with this. If you have a fighter you main, get this. Okay, hold on, I gotta use usual luck account. About a five-ish loop? I'm gonna say about a five-second loop. Four or five. Not, not bad, it's got some unique uh, looking things when he sings the uh, Arms really fast. He hits with the uh, feet and some dust comes up. It's five seconds loop, which is not bad. If you're in the fighting emotes, not bad. I'm gonna give that one. Give it a uh, six. Well, yeah, I give it a six. I'm gonna give it a 5.5, but I like to round up these rule. Wiggle. Got 
got a five second wait. A four second track loop. And you know the uh the loop of the uh what he's doing looks about about four seconds as well. It's a, it's an old meme dance, the wiggle you can probably find it on YouTube. Uh you gotta be boneless to do these kind of dances almost. There's also a dance called boneless. Um, not terrible. Um, a little short, but decent sounding to where it's not annoying. The movements, smooth, fun looking. If you got anything like his jacket things there that'll swing around on you, they'll be going crazy, which is fun. Um, I'm gonna give this one a nice old 6 too. If the other one got a 6, this one deserves a 6. Toasty, I actually like this one a lot, but it's very simple. Now you do this, and he toasts them, and if he does them right, he'll put them in his mouth, take a bite, drop it. Oh look, I didn't even notice that, Ninja's mouth actually moves to the southern of the mask. If you do it wrong, let's see if we can do it wrong. You give it a few times. Yeah, there he goes, looks away, catches it on fire, freaks out, throws them around, he's like, oh, well, crap, and drops. Um, the right way has about a... About an 8 second, give or take, uh, loop to it, which is not terrible. It's good for cold seasons or just summer camping seasons or whatever you want to use it for. I love roasted marshmallows over a fire. It's fun. I mean, you don't just take a bite and then throw them on the ground. That's a waste of marshmallows. How dare they waste all that sugar and high fructose corn syrup. Uh, it's actually with the fire pit, the two different types of emotes you can get out of it. Unique uh, look of it, the unique emotions. I'm going to give this one actually a 7, even though it's not too flashy. So we are now done with this section. And <laughs> we're not even done all the way. we got one more after this. Holy cow. Uh, let me count these up. Oh, that's not a breast. And they're right here, and it's doing weird things. All in all, it gets about a 6 rating. I'm going to give it a 6 rating. It's got to round it up to a 6. No packages again, so no add-ons. So a 6 rating for this entire section here. Wait, yeah, here. Pretty decent. I'm a little I uh, don't know why rushing around is still here, except for the third-party mode, and I think it was just released the other day. So decent, decent. Shadow Strike. I love Shadow Series. Um, Shadow Strike has a package or separate. I recommend the package, but the package comes with backlinks of characters and no tools. So you still have to buy the tools separate. And there's no package for tools. So, so what you have here is Mega Team Shadow. Mega Team Leader, of course, is that robot that fought the monster in season nine. Um, this is it cursed, infected, or copied by whatever the shadow is. We're still not entirely sure what shadow is. One day, maybe we'll get a storyline on the shadow. We need a storyline on the shadow because it is the only one we don't have a source to connect to. The darkness comes from the cubes and the last reality. The ice people will come from Ice King. The fire comes from the Fire King, aka the prisoner. But what do the shadows do? Where are they from? Tell us, please. We would like to know. Uh, but this is the Shadow Robot, uh, a reskin of the other version of Mecha Team Leader. Uh, shadow Assembly Shadow Assembly Rehired? Hard up and ready for shadowy action. So it's just basically a recolor of it. It's all black now. Everything's black with some white lights on it. Looks pretty cool. It probably looks better in the dark in the game because all the white lighting lights up really nice and dark. Uh, the Mecha Team itself is a really cool design, very detailed. A skin because they had it for an event and it was about the size of a mountain. So they had a detail very well with the missiles in his legs, the missiles in its 
chest area. Uh, it's just all of his designs very nicely done. Uh, normally his right hand is uh, John Dino Jonesy, left hand is Griff. Uh, you have Durberger and Tomato Head as the feet. You can see all these uh, normally. You can still see some remnants of it, but with the shadow taking over, everything's been painted black. Black is my favorite color. And with it being unique part of the shadow, with it looking good as normally, I'm gonna keep it at its, I'm gonna keep it at an eight rating actually. I was gonna put it as seven rating, but it's uniqueness in the shadow series gets it as a seven rating. Its tools are the shadow combo cleavers. Again, they're basically reskinning of the original tools for this uh, skin. There are two thick futuristic swords that imitate the sword it used to kill the monster. Um, they've been shadowed up, meaning they're now been changed to black and white with a white light in the hilt area and down the middle. Of course, it still has a uh, what's her name statue at the top. What was her name? What was her name? I forgot her name all of a sudden, but she was the driver of it. No idea where these people went, by the way. Her and the uh, her and her robot disappeared into space after the zero point. Uh, I mean, after the monster event, before zero point event at that time. Um, all enough. It's dual. It's shadow. It was good to begin with. I'm gonna give these a good old seven because they're actually pretty cool. Next up, we have Night Gunner. Now, Gunner is an OG skin reskin, very basically. It's got some almost futuristic looking sportswear on. Uh, left pad for some reason, some OG armor on the bottoms, uh, pads on the right arm and right shoulder for whatever futuristic sport they're doing. Uh, no one knows, it's just the future looks like. And then he's got his uh, unicorn look back there. Um, he's basically the male version of the Bright Bomber. I'm surprised he doesn't have a, sh uh, a dark version, by the way. But this is the shadow version. I said that Bright Bomber doesn't have a shadow version, but that was one of the skins we voted on today, was the Dark Bomber. Shadow Bomber? Shadow Bomber. Um, it looks pretty decent. I like the weird uh, um, octagons. I like all the lights. I love the backling. Um, it's not too special. If it wasn't shadow, I'd probably give it a four. But I'm gonna rank it a six because it is shadow and that backlink looks really cool in shadow. Uh, and shadow archetype. Now archetype's a really old one. Uh, my son has one version of it. I have another version of it. My son has the original version of it. I have a different version of it. I think other than this, and then I have this version as well. Um, he has the engineered in the shadows for combat performance and utility and darkness. In fact, I'll probably go through both of them. Would I'll likely go through both of them in during the skin series. Uh, he's got you know the basic Sam Fisher look uh, with the breather in it, but it's all been shadowed up with white lights. The bullets look cool. They're black with the white lights at the tips. Um, his urban camel kind of just still looks like urban camel. It really hasn't changed in color. Uh, white lights on his armor knee caps and on his shoes that look good. All in all, it was already a uh, skin I named six. I'm going to keep it as six. And then it got the shadow caliper, which I ranked low last time because it is basically a weird and while well, unique, not very interesting one. I'm not going to rank it. I'm going to rank it as six again because it's got the shadow lights on it, which make it a little cooler and it's going to turn into black and white. So it's going to get into a six ranking. I'm very mid-level raking most of these things. Can't say that because I rank these guys like a bomb. And technically I gave this guy an eight. So all in all, with the rounding up, this gets a seven rating. Uh, Mecha team leader. Oh wait, but it's got a package, so technically it gets an eight rating. So Mecha team leader and his package 
save the day. Now, it only gives a plus one because it's packages. Just the skins. There's no packages for the shadow uh, cleavers or calipers. This guy doesn't even have a tool. What the hell? So it technically gets an eight rating saved by both this guy and the package. Now we have finally gone through everybody. Holy cow. So with that in mind, I need to add up everybody. Some good and a lot of mid ranges here, I and mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up high mid range on the average. Okay, it gets rounded up to be a 7. It is a 7 rank tonight. That is something we've had before, actually, I think last night, maybe even a 7. I'm not sure. So all in all, it is a 7 rank store. These are great. These are okay. These are stinkers. But there's packages to save that. Again, these are great. This is good. These are kind of stinkers. And a package saves it. These are awesome, this is pretty good, and that's okay. And a package just adds to that. This is great, this is great, this is good, this is okay right here, and this is kind of meh. And a package helps leave that out real good. This entire page is kind of meh, with Toasty being my most interested version of it. These are a mixture of really good Potassius and Grimoire things, and then some rarely just kind of meh skins. Um, this is just a mixture of meh skins with one famous per meh, meh per skin in it. Uh, this is a mixture of kind of meh emotes that are good for sh soccer and just a mixture of about the same amount of meh for soccer. Great if you're a soccer fan, completely pointless if you're not. Um, unless you just like the style. So in all, the, in all, all in all, all in all, it gets a seven rating, which is a high mid range, not quite Amazing range, but I don't think we'll ever get an amazing range store. By what I've seen for the last few days I've done this, the amazing range store isn't going to happen unless we get just an entirely amazing... If we get something like this amazing all the way through the store, or maybe just like this, 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 and this all the way through the store, maybe you can get up into the eights or above. Now, I don't think we'll ever see a completely tin store unless there's just stuff all over it I'm completely biased about. That said, leaving you with a score for seven on tonight's store, score, well, store we will be calling it a night. I will see y'all in a few days. Y'all have a great evening. Peace and out.